What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be showing how to make the interior for your circle, okay. <coughs> Mine is the coughing. Um, yeah, here it is, uh, I'd say this one went pretty well. I tried to, like, make a contrast of colors how to, with using all the gray concrete and stuff. Just contrast off from the white and the smooth stone. And I think it went decently, and, uh, yeah, I really don't have a whole ton else to say about this other than here it is and all of its, uh, storiness. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. I'm trying to ramble on, because I don't want 30 seconds of silence, because silence is overrated. Um, I'm just kidding, it's underrated. But, yeah, with that being said, that is where I'm gonna shut up now, so enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to need for this is, well, you don't need any space, all you need is your Circle K from yesterday, almost the other day, I'm so used to saying that, but no, yesterday at this point in time. Um, well, you get the point. Anyways, the materials you're needing to start off, because you need some of those, are smooth stone, glowstone or sea lanterns or redstone lamps if you want to go there, brick blocks, Birch doors, spruce doors, white concrete, I guess let's go black stained glass blocks, dark oak doors, and I guess gray concrete to finish it. Yeah, that kind of works weirdly, but it's fine. Uh, coming inside your Circle K, the first thing you want to do is break your entire grass floor and replace it with smooth stone. I'm going to slash roll this, because that's, that's easier. Um, while I'm doing this, hopefully everyone's having a good day or night. I am, for the most part, uh, it's a Sunday, but I do have tomorrow off, which is always fun. You're probably seeing this not that long after uh, I'm recording this, which is interesting. Um, so, I'm going to do this differently. We're going to do the lights next, because it... I'll, I'll tell you in a sec here why we're doing it this way, but it'll make more logical sense if I do it that way. And I can actually just... Oh, I guess I can't do that. Cool. Oh, no, I can. I told you. I knew it. 100%. So it's 2096. And then 20... No, 20 2130. Okay. And that should give us a floor. Check. Uh, let me actually make sure that didn't, like, screw up anything outside, though. Not that it particularly matters. No one else is gonna care. Except for me. So. Yeah, alright, cool. We're done. Done there. Um, so the reason we're doing the lights next is because it actually works out so it, it, with how the walls la were laid out, it works perfectly with the, uh, if you just have one giant sheet. Which is really nice. I liked how that worked. Uh, so what I'm gonna, <coughs> first we're gonna do is stop dying. Second off, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the front right-hand corner. Now, you may choose the front left-hand corner. I know I typically do that, but I'm not doing that for this because I couldn't reach the front right left-hand corner. Although, it's the same per corner, theoretically. And in line with the bottom row of red concrete, you want to place a raw smooth stone along the front of the build. Guess that would have been easier to say it that way. Then you can go left or right or right to left on the next row back. Doesn't matter. And you want to place two smooth stone, close stone, Two smooth stone, glowstone, 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 and you get the point that I'm trying to get across here. You copy that pattern for the entirety of this row. I almost did that wrong. And then you want to place two rows of smooth stone behind that. And then copy your light pattern. So two smooth stone, glowstone, two smooth stone, glowstone, etc. And then two rows of smooth stone behind that, and then your light pattern again. And you want to keep that going until you reach the back of the build, which should end on one row of smooth stone if I've if we've done everything correctly. If not, we're screwed. Um, but yeah. So hopefully I can get another build battle out this month. That would be ideal. Uh, I'm we're trying to get one recorded today, although we're actually I'm not sure how that is going to work because it, it would appear that no one is awake. But it is 10:35 in the morning, 
which is extremely early for me recording a video. I, I just woke up and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, why not? Because, so I have a weird situation where my controller isn't charging. The one that I'm using right now, and this is the only one I can record videos with. So when I'm not recording videos, I have to use my other one, and it's horrible, and I hate it. Because it has controller drift. So, like, I don't want to do anything else other than just, like, I was like, I'll just get the video out of the way, whatever, and then figure out whatever I want to do with the rest of my day. And so, yeah, that won't be... That, by the time you're seeing this, I'll probably have that problem fixed, hopefully, as long as the, uh external thing works i don't know it's the thing on the back of the controller that says ext you can charge through that and i'm gonna try to I, i'm getting a charger and that should hopefully work through that and it wasn't expensive or anything which is nice but even if it was like 40 dollars i would have, would have sacrificed that because i kind of need the controller and i'm also thinking about just getting a new controller so i can use one for my computer and not care but then the point of like getting a new controller is like well, wouldn't i want to put it or hook it that one up to the playstation instead I mean, I could theoretically do both. That is a possibility. Yeah. We'll see. It's an investment. But also, like, I don't want to spend a frick ton of money. But, I mean, a controller is $70. is a good one. The only problem is... A good one. I've had very bad luck with controllers, which that one that I was just talking about shows that very well. Literally, the two that we have that work perfectly normal... Are the only well, I mean, I say perfectly normal in parentheses. They're old though, or not uh, quotations. Okay, so it's not gonna end on a row of smooth stones. It's gonna end on a row of lights. I apologize. It it works out though. I just kind of forgot that was how that worked, and it wasn't actually like centered back to front. But it leave it that way. That should work. So we're not actually screwed. I'm just dumb. But um, yeah. So the last two, like, the last two controllers I've had have had the same problem where whenever you like hit hold down left trigger to like place blocks, it like drifts up and it's really annoying. Um, anyways, what can we do now? Come to the front doors. That seems like a fair spot, a fair point to start. And you want to bring each brick block or white concrete around the doors, each back by two. And then that will also make sure you do every single one above because that is important. And it's gonna do oh, these. It's gonna give you. Hold on a second here. Almost there. It's like 10 more seconds. Not even 10 more seconds. Just like right now. There we go. Should you should have this? Actually, the two is like a little bit weird. Now, oh, well, you can figure it out. I'm sure. Come to the back right hand corner. What you actually want to do is in this far corner, you want to break a doorway, so the brick and the white concrete above it, and then you want to also break the block below the brick. Replace that block with a smooth stone and place a spruce door in the doorway. Place it off the back of the build. So you have a back door now. Cool. It's always nice. Come to that smooth stone. This one right here. It's the one in front of that door. And you want to, from this block, you want to count forward by... 7. And you want to place a spruce door, actually. On the front half of that block. I can, let me make sure this is correct, because I can figure this out. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Wait. It looks weird, because it's doors. Then bring that spruce door left with 11 brick blocks. You can connect back. Come back to that corner and bring that left with an additional 9 brick blocks. Birch door. 3 brick blocks. Birch door and then 9 brick blocks. Just like that. Take that row of 3 and you can just connect the middle to the back wall. <laughs> like so, sorry. Now ah, that is gonna probably happen a little bit, but it's fine. Bring each brick block or door up to the ceiling with white concrete. And then that'll give you walls. That'll give you all of your walls. I don't really have anything else to say right now, honestly. Other than, I don't know if I said but the build battle, hopefully I should have one up this month. I might have said that, I don't know. I, like, kind of forgot. I thought it, and I don't remember if I said it or not. That's great. I love when that happens. But, uh, hopefully this will be a fun month, because, uh, the school's ending. But then, uh, I will, I will still be a little bit busy, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. 
we'll figure it out as we go. So you want to you're in, you want to be in the front area, and you want to come to the back right to the this spruce store, and you want to count from this one forward by five or on the fifth smooth stone actually. So first smooth stone, second, third, fourth, fifth. And you want to count left by one and then go left with 11 gray concrete. And then go back by four. Uh, you can just check to make sure that that's not right, right? Because you will be on this wall right here. If I break through, you can see I'm right in between these two rooms. Cool. That's exactly where we want to be. Now, coming to the left side over here. You want to come to the fifth brick block to the left of this left birch door. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. This one. Bring it forward with the black glass. Dark oak door. Three black glass. Dark oak door. Three black glass. Dark oak door. Three black glass. Dark oak door and a black glass. Bring each black glass up by three, and bring each dark oak door up with two black glass. So it'll be one away from the ceiling. On top of the top row of glass, place a row of gray concrete. And then on the rows of three black glass, you want to place a row of gray concrete sticking out. Or I guess a column that goes top to bottom. Or bottom to top, whichever you want to say, I guess. So I'll give you this. Now, that kind of looks a little bit odd, so you actually can, I believe, clear inventory. We won't really need any of this again at all, except for the birch door, I think. And you want to get out polished deep slate slabs and smooth quartz slabs. And along the top row of black glass, you want to place a row of upside down polished deep slate slabs, and it just kind of wants to connect all the gray concrete together, all the columns together, like that. There you go. Those are like the fridge things where you open and you're like oh I want this soda and then you grab it and then you go to the cash register and you buy it that's normally how that conversation it's not a conversation that's normally how that interaction goes <laughs> although I don't buy soda because I don't drink it um now come in inside your fridges I guess that works and you want to do you have four rows here the middle two you want to place a row of upside down smooth quartz slab and you want to place four rows of them <laughs> I think it's four, I don't know, I don't remember. Either three or four. I'll say four for the intentions of this. And then you want to bring each of these all the way to the right. And you just want to bring, essentially it wants to scale the fr fridge room, we'll call it. Uh, I only made it so you can walk in this room so you could like, oh, what if I want this reach? And then you can also, 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 yeah, that's how you say that. You can also make the smooth stone below the bottom fridge, smooth quartz blocks, or all of it down there that is an option. And you could go another block back. I just kind of wanted to leave a gap back here in case you wanted to, I don't know, add a secret entrance or something. Kind of don't have room for that, though. Unless you flip the bathroom and the... If you made one... Yeah, if you made... You could flip some things around and figure that out, but it'd be weird to make the back room entrance in, not the area where it should be, which is behind the counter. Because that would be what we'd have to do. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. No, almost there. This isn't too complex of a thing, but it's different. I was trying to go with something a little bit more interesting. I tried to go with a different, like, theme, too. It's like, normally I'm going with... I almost trapped myself in there. Normally I'm going with a darker, or, like, a brighter color, but I went with all dark on the inside. Just kind of change it up from all the uh, white concrete that we have for the walls. Add some contrast. Now, what do we want to do? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, get out composters, oak trap doors, which, by the way, you probably should clear inventory, even though you only had two materials, who cares? Polished deep slate blocks. Polished deep slate stairs. Polished deep slate walls. Stone brick stairs. And we might leave it there. Yeah. So, 
I'd say over kind of by the fridge area where we just were in this corner, I placed a composer with an oak trap door on top. It's the corner made by the uh, window and the wall. Or the window and the sticky out part of the door where it like, juts out by two blocks. What did I just see? Did I just see a bird? I hope that wasn't a bird. Anyways, um, then I'd come behind the counter and just in like the back left hand corner or something, place a compost with an oak trap door on top. And also facing backwards, like a couple of Stonebrook stairs fit as cash registers. Not calculators. They're not. Cal I mean, actually, they do kind of calculate if you think about it. They're money calculators. Although, who, like, uses actual, like, bill, like, who has dollar bills, I mean, they have dollar bills, but, like, who actually uses cash anymore? I feel like most of it's credit and debit cards. I mean, I have cash sometimes, but if I have cash, I'll normally use it, because I'm like, I don't want this, what am I going to use it for? But, uh, yeah. Come into the back room, and, okay. The front in the back row, you want to place an upside down polished deep side stair facing right. Bring each of those right with... I better have an image of this room. There's a good chance I don't. Uh... How? How did I do that? Okay, uh, hold on. I can actually figure this out, though. I feel like it's six. I'm actually... Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm right. You want to make sure those right with six ups and down polished deep side stairs. The back row facing forward and the front row facing backward, if that makes sense. Like this. And at the end of either of those, place an ups and down polished deep side stair facing left. You don't want to bring each of those on top of themselves by three more rows. I don't know how I guessed the number. Or you could do, it might be two more. Two or three, it doesn't particularly matter. I'll just go three, because why not? But, I don't know why. I, like, I, something inside of my brain was just telling me that it was six, and it was actually right for once. Normally, I should not trust my brain, because it's normally not right in these situations, but for once, it was. There you go. And then next to either the front one or the back one, doesn't matter, place a compost with no trap door on top. Cool. Uh, can I guess, uh, ba oopsies, uh, back outside and... Let's add a couple of things, shall we? Go to the, uh, right, or the left of the... You want to be directly to the left of the counter. That's where you want to be. And you want to place to the left of the back, gray concrete and ups and unpolished deep slate stair facing left. Bring it left by six upside down stairs facing forward, and then another one facing left. And then bring that on top of itself two more times. I actually have the number for this one, believe it or not. Wild. I don't know how I missed the room though, it's kind of stupid. That's <laughs> okay, I, wait, if I do this, does it connect? It? Duh, okay, never mind. I was like, wait, because it was weird and I wanted to see what it was doing. Okay. Now, come to the doorway and come to the left pillar, the one where you place the trash can by. It's this one. And you want... <coughs> you want to be on the first smooth stone in front of it. Oh, God. Count... Wait. Count back by six. And right by one and going right, you're going to want to place four polished deep slate. Bring it up by three. So you have a 4x4 four four square. And then surround the bottom three rows and upside down polished deep slate stairs. Um, now this part's kind of like up to you for how you want to do this, where you want to place these, etc. I didn't particularly use the space as well as I could have, but it was a really awkward space with how I made it. Because I didn't want to go too close to this. I mean, you could probably actually go another, what, two blocks over here maybe? I'm actually going to do that, yeah. I'm going to extend this out another two blocks on the right side. But, uh, yeah. Just kind of figure out the best way to use the space for your liking. It's There's no particular, um, right or wrong way to do this. Just try not to make it too crammed. Like, that's probably the closest I'd get. And you could arguably push this forward so these stairs are here. And then try to square. Eh, maybe not. Well... Then move it by two. You could try to fit one. You could try to squeeze one in. And then over here, what I actually did was... Hold up. Actually, first, come back to the one that we did in off the front right-hand corner. Let's place three 
polished deep slate walls moving up. I actually get a polished deep slate slabs. I forgot this thing existed. And place this slab on top. I forgot we had the slab on top at least. Um, that's kind of just like a little rack where it could be like sunglasses, could be funny keychains or whatever, or shirts, or you, you get the gist. I couldn't particularly think of how to do one of those because if you've ever been to a gas station, you've seen what I'm talking about. You like know what I'm trying to do, but I don't know how to exactly make it. But, uh, yeah. Now. Cool, that's, where is it? There it is. Come to the front right-hand corner, and you want to count backward diagonally to the left by four. And place a polished deep slate. Bring it left by four. And then bring that whole thing, that thing up with three rows. So you have a five by four. This one I wouldn't extend anymore on any side, because you already have a little bit of a cram in here. But you want to surround again the bottom three three rows of that in with upside down polished deep slate stairs you can see i'm trying to go with three block alleys i think three or i guess aisles not alleys although it kind of works either way if i think if you go less it'll be too crammed but if you go more you're not going to have enough shelves which is that's kind of the hard thing about making a gas station especially with how i did it it just it kind of didn't work now you could ingrain this counter into that wall and then that give you a good amount more space and then kind of combine the back room and the counter. That is a thing you should, I think, think about. But I wouldn't, like, be sold on it. But just put it in the back of your mind. Anyways, quickly just come into the bathroom. And in the in the right front, in the front left-hand corner of the right one, you want to place a compost with an oak trap door on top. And in the front right-hand corner of the left one, you want to do the same. It should be in the corner that's directed to the side of the door. Now, clear inventory. I want to say this is the second to last site we need. And you want to get out stone slabs. Stone. Birch doors. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Birch trap doors. Yeah, we're going to be like just short. Levers and cauldrons will go. You have one, but there's no point in getting anything because it's not going to do anything. So coming into either bathroom, you want to come to, actually it doesn't matter, from here on it's symmetrical except for the front. Uh, so you want to come to either the back left hand corner, back right hand corner, doesn't matter, and you want to count forward by three and place an opposite on stone slab. Bring it right with a birch door, three opposite on stone slabs, birch door, three opposite on stone slabs. Birch door and an upside down stone slab. Like so. Take the rows of three and bring them all the way to the back wall. The middle ones, I should say. Then bring each upside down stone slab up with a stone block. And then bring each stone block and birch door up with a stone slab. <coughs> oh, God, sorry. Inside of each stall in the back center, place a smooth quartz block. Bring it forward with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Bring that stair up with the birch trap door. Bring that trap door back with a smooth quartz block, and then bring that block left with a lever. There you go. And then just do that, uh. Technically, I guess, five more times. Oh, I placed the stair wrong. Of course, I did. There you go. And then, you want to either leave a two block out from the door or from the corner, it actually doesn't matter, and you want to just place a cauldron, and you want to place three cauldrons that are each one block apart from each other, so it'll give you this. And then, what you just did in this bathroom, you want to copy into the other. So, back corner, count forward by three, place an upside down stone slab, birch door, three upside down slabs is going right, birch door. Three upside down stone slabs, birch door, upside down stone slab. Connect the middle slab in the rows of three to the back wall. Bring each upside down slab up with a stone block. Bring each stone block up with a slab.
And then in each stall, you want to play a smooth quartz block in the back center. Forward is an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a birch trap door. Back with a smooth quartz block. And then left with a lever. And then at the front, leave a two block out from the door and from the wall and place cauldrons. And then place one in the middle of those two, leaving a one block out between all three total. There you go. Let's quickly want to do that again. Trying to make more of these larger bathrooms if I can fit them, and this was a situation where I could. Although, if you want to, um, this is probably too late. If you want to change them to smaller bathrooms so you have more room for shelves and stuff, you can do that. Because some, or a good amount of bath, or ga gas station or convenience stores only have the one person bathrooms. Now you can clear your inventory and get out dark oak signs. White dye and glowing sex or bone meal. Bone meal also works. I don't know why I wasn't grabbing it. Well, that's my care for you. Above either birch door, you want to place dark oak signs. One saying men and one saying women, both in all caps. I also like to go down the line. Did I do it on the other one? I actually don't remember if I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. Left click once with a glowing sag, once with white dye. Now, before you're done... Come into either bathroom and above the middle sink, above the lever. You can't place it behind the lever, which kind of sucks. Well, that, you wouldn't be able to read it, whatever. The next block, the white concrete above the middle lever, you want to place a dark oak sign. You want to write, m that's not how you type. Employees must wash hands. Like that. You can do it in all caps or not, it doesn't particularly matter. And then left click once with your glowing sack and white die, and then do the same in the other. Same in the other. Oh, that's okay. Great, fantastic. Just like that. And then once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Circle K interior complete. All right, so that is where I'm going to end this video. The thing I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know you guys think of how the interior and exterior went of this. I'd say it was uh pretty decent and uh, yeah that being said a big fan after dinner and i will see you on the next one peace